So hello everyone. So it's Feature Friday here at TRM. It's a good time to talk about a relatively new and perhaps a hidden function known as pick and stage. If you have Maximo 7612 or are in application suite 8.x, you have this function under the inventory module. It all begins with your reservations list. So let's start there. Okay, so let's get started with something familiar. Pick and stage all begins with your reservations list. As you know, if you go to inventory and then go to your reservations list, you see the reservations for items that you are waiting to fulfill. Whether these came through a desktop requisition, whether they came through a work order, doesn't make any difference. This is your list of reservations. We're gonna take a look at this list in a slightly different fashion here in just a moment. So we jump back real quick, back to inventory, but this time we're gonna to go to manage inventory. And you'll notice as I click that, it's going to launch into another tab in my browser and it uses the work center technology that's been in Maximo for a little while. You'll notice there's a number of things you can do here, but our focus is going to be on the reservations list. And then of course, here's pick and stage. The reservations list, the initial filter is by date. So I have a work order behind the scenes where I've requested these four parts for this particular date. You can expand the dates and such, and you would see your entire reservation list. So how do we start? First thing you would do is from your reservation list, you would choose the items that you wish to create a pick list for. You'll notice here we have a little bit of help uh, at the top for things that we can do. Uh, we could just issue these directly if you'd like, and that'll do an inventory usage transaction. However, if you wanna create a pick list, then you would go over here and do just that, create picks. You click that, give it a name. This is my Friday pick list. Put in a required date if I'd like. There's the ID for the list. This is the storeroom that I'm coming out of. And I just click pick list. Okay, so great. Here's our pick list. And you can see that as we do the picking for these particular items out in the warehouse, you're gonna see them move from open to pick to stage and then ultimately issued. You'll also see that you can sort this list. So if it was substantially longer than just these four items, and if you had bins, and if your warehouse is in the order of the bins, then you can sort and in effect, create yourself a route to then go pick these items. That's gonna be a function of courses, whether you have bins associated with the items, and your warehouse is in some of the order that you would expect uh, the bins in. And there's your quantity and things like that, okay? So your very next step is to come over here to the right-hand side, choose the three dots, and decide what you're going to do with these items. So as you approach the item in the bin, on the shelf, in the warehouse, you're gonna say, I'm gonna pick it, okay? Item is picked. How many did you pick, okay? Click pick, done. You notice it falls off the list, things refresh, and now I have picked one item. So conceivably, practically, it's sitting on the rolly cart that's in front of me. So one just works their way through the warehouse, pulling the parts off the shelves, putting it on the rolly cart in front of you, determining how many you picked, move to the next one, move to the next one, work your way down. You notice here you can also add reservations um, as well if you had an item that kind of snuck in quickly uh, for a particular need you can add that reservation and then pick it as well your next step is once the items are picked now potentially they can be staged so if you have an area where people will come and receive the parts that are waiting for them uh, perhaps another set of bins that are at this parts crib or your uh, warehouse uh, location, then you can stage these items in perhaps these single bins or multiple bins um, as you wish. So you walk in with your rolly cart, you have these items, time to stage them. You choose the ones that you wish to stage, okay? And you can stage it, 
You can issue it directly, or you, know, or you can restock it. So let's just click on stage. There it is. You can enter your staging bin. So let's say, for example, you have a staging bin 12 for this particular order, and that's where you're going to put it. And I'm going to stage it. Quantity stage. So one would expect that physically you will find that particular item in that staged bin. So once the item is staged, then the obvious conclusion here is to actually issue it. Person shows up at the counter. I'd like my parts for the work order. You turn around, you pull it out of the staged bin, you issue selected, issued how many there. Of course, I needed one. Um, I got one. There's my staging bin. I click issue and we are done. And that's pretty much it. From your reservation list, you choose these pick lists or create these pick lists, I should say. You use the pick list to go out and do the picking, do the staging, if that's your process, ultimately issuing those items, and you're complete. So that's it, pick and stage, pretty straightforward. Thank you so much for spending the time watching this video. We hope it was helpful. You can always contact us at trmnet.com. That's trmnet.com. And you can also contact me directly at john.todd at trmnet.com. Enjoy the rest of your day.